okay so to, today we will be seeing another topic and this is called configuration set in pega okay so this features was uh, initially added uh, from 8.6 onwards okay and this is like uh, okay so we'll first understand like as name is suggesting configuration set so that means we can do some configurations okay in our development so configuration settings provides developer with a unified framework for customizing parameters for applications behavior the settings are organized into configuration sets that associates the setting with a common element such as an application's feature or a specific case type. Okay, so now with this one, it is a little uh, like kind of a technical or I would say something else. <laughs> okay, so let's understand from here what is configuration set. Okay, so first let's understand the sample use case. Okay, so the use case is uh, let's say you are developing a loan application, okay, and the requirement is if the loan amount is more than 10,000 Then it should go for approval if it is less than that then it should case should get auto approved Okay, so this kind of requirement are very frequent in pega and we get And we get in almost all applications. Okay, so if I have to like let's say if you are a developer proper developer If you have to achieve this kind of requirement and business is also asking that this thing should be configurable that's let's say the today loan amount is for the auto approval is 10,000 and tomorrow it can be 20,000 okay and next year it can be 50,000 depending on the market so these to handle these kind of situations what developers usually do is they'll create a data type and keep this kind of information in a table and then using data page report definitions they'll face those informations and put it into that uh, conditions okay but let's say if you're a citizen developer okay and you are not that much flexible to to create a data table okay and then have your own data 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 page and put conditions okay and also if you're doing that one then like if you're using your own data page then you need to put a condition so that developer should also or the citizen developer should also know how to do that okay so to to avoid these kind of a things peg like i feel that pega has come up with this configuration set okay so let's see that how we can use this configuration set so here I have created a sample application, a sample case type, where we have a three stage, create, approve, and fulfill, okay? So on approve, I have just added a when rule, skip when rule that if is approval required, okay? So currently it is saying, okay, false, always false, means if I'll create a case now, it will always, be, it always will go for approval, okay? So here I've added an amount field as well, so I'll just give some amount field, let's say submit 500, then it is going for approval, uh, so approval, pending approval, and then I'll submit it and I'll approve, and then it will, the case will get resolved, okay? Now, this value, I want to make it configurable, okay? So if you're a developer, as I explained that, yes, you can write your data page and you can come here in advanced tab, you can put that, uh, like, uh, your conditions. But as a, as a App Studio developer, as a citizen developer, it's not easy for them, okay? So now what we can do is we can go and create a configurable configuration, okay? So how we can do that? For that one, we need to navigate it to App Studio. In App Studio, in settings, we have called configuration. So here we can see that manage configuration sets and then we have add configurations, okay? So we can click here. So we have, I have already created a configuration set, okay? So set is like, okay, uh, let's say for approval, you have one set, okay, where you want to add, uh, like uh, combine four or five attributes, okay? So set uh, is like one lo complete logic and in that, uh, like um, add configuration. So then in that we can add number of settings. So settings is like, uh, like per attribute. So already I have the uh, configuration set call approval. Now in that one, I'll add more settings. So I'll create a, a new settings. So let's say I'll create a property called amount and then I'll say loan amount and then configuration set. So uh, in which configuration sets we want to tag the settings. So here we have only, all, only one. So I'll just select approval and then a scope also we have that. What is our scope? Okay, you want to use this settings for a particular case type or you want to use throughout your applications okay so if i just select case type then all the case type will get listed here and we can select that okay so but for now a scope i'll select application okay and then attribute yes we, we, we will go with the decimal okay and then constant value okay so let's say i'll get 500 okay so if i'm giving less than 500 then case should get auto approved if i'm giving more than 500 then case should get, go for approval okay so i'll just submit it 
ओके सो सम लाइक आई आई वॉज प्लेइंग विद दिस ओके सो दिस एट्रीब्यूट वॉज ऑलरेडी एक दिस आई जस्ट चेंज दिस फ्रॉम अमाउंट टू लोन अमाउंट ओके एंड देन हियर ऑल्सो इज गॉट चेंज ओके सो आई जस्ट सबमिट इट नाउ so you can see here that setting came here under the configuration set now we have to use this settings okay so let's say oh, i am a citizen developer and i don't know how to apply the logics from a normal database but this one is very easy i'll show you how we can do that so let's go to case type so i'll open apply loan and he here in apply loan okay so here i we had that conditions right so here at the when rule is saying custom so in the dev studio it was showing when rule but here it is just showing a custom condition so i'll click here to configure that one and here it uh, if you remember initially i showed that the condition was always and then false but here now we want to use that configuration so see the configuration scape let's see if you are using our own database then that will not come like this okay and citizen developer cannot use it but here citizen developer can use it so in configurations they can just select approval and approval and the loan amount okay so loan amount is selected now we can put a condition so see here on that all we have that in all conditions is in list is also there greater than less than everything is there okay so this if this conditions will will get true okay then this is step will get uh, uh, skipped okay so here let's say and then here in this side we can put a hard code value also but we have a loan amount in our uh, in our uh, case type so i'll use that property okay so here the loan amount is there when we'll create a case we'll we'll see that loan amount so we can fill that okay so i'll submit it now when we'll run okay what will happen so this comparison will happen if the loan amount from the configuration set is equal to let's review again we selected equal to or what yeah no we don't want to equal to so we'll say uh, so we have selected 500 right so well, let's say is greater than okay okay now let's create a case okay and see how this this is working okay so let's let's understand that conditions also so we have a given greater than okay so let's now go and create a case so i'll click on home and then i'll maybe i'll create a case from let me refresh this portal there is some issue so i'll open the portal again now let's navigate it to dev studio and from there open the portal launch the portal so if i come to dev studio also and if i see open that conditions is approval required and refresh here we should see that that condition got updated okay so loan amount is greater than this amount okay so then uh, this step will get uh, uh, step will get uh, skipped So I'll say apply loan. So I'll say thousand. So see, step didn't got executed. Fine. Let me give. We have in our uh, in our uh, like uh, con configuration set we have given five hundred. So this time I'll create a, again a new case and I'll give three hundred. So there is some issue with this one. I'll create maybe from the dev portal only. So I'll create a new case again. I'll give this time. I'll give the loan amount as three hundred. See, it got auto resolve. So we are understanding, right? That how we are using the dynamic nature of that one. Okay, that based on the threshold amount. Okay, either we are going for approval or we are going for auto uh, auto resolve. Okay, so that is how we can use it. Now there is some. I'll I'll just add some little technical details as well. So this is coming under Pega configuration. So if you just select Pega configuration, so here inside that one we should see those attributes also. so property initially had created uh, amount and then loan amount so here if you see if i just go to advance and copy this part and put it somewhere on my set on a blank document so if you see here basically it is similar to that one only what we create any data page and then pass the required parameter okay and then get the value pega is doing the similar way okay but this this is coming in the rule form okay in the when rule form okay and then citizen developer can select the value and pega will automatically build this condition so this is how 
even though if you don't know much about the coding or like how we can write the logic okay you can just select okay so this is like in a very in a business term okay the next thing is that how you can maintain okay in production okay because here i just show you showed you to add things in the app studio okay so for that one what we can do in pega is given a harness again okay, that harness we can add it in our portal okay so to add in portal harness we have to go to channel user it portal and then add custom page and then we have an administration okay so i'll just add it okay and then now i'll open the portal and see so we'll navigate it to dev studio again and then launch the portal so here now we can see that we got a new tab called administration and see here under approval we have a two attribute amount and loan amount so this one we are using so this time i'll, I'll so we can update also so I'll, this time i'll make it thousand and save it so if any amount i'm giving greater than thousand then it will go for approval if it is giving less than thousand then it will get case will get auto approved so let me refresh and see the value got saved okay let me open that portal again see thousand okay so now i'll create a case again and i'll give 1200 so see it went for approval okay so if i'll give 900 then it should definitely it should get auto approved there is all completed so we understood that i hope uh, this is a small video will help you and and help you to understand what is the configuration sets and you'll be able to do a quick poc and also i'll attach this link because this link is very helpful okay this is from the pega academy and this is link from the pega wiki so that's it for today's sessions i hope this small uh video will help you thank you thank you very much have a good day